everyone today we will discuss about the issues we face in the new version of uh, ubuntu ubuntu 18.04 um, so uh, hyperledger official document they suggest us to install uh, hyperledger on 14.04 and 16.04 um, the newer version the bionic uh, it is not supported but um, our team member found a uh, fix for that one, a little um, tweak in the script that will enable us to run this um, Ubuntu on the Bionic. We have to just follow the same steps they have mentioned. The only difference is that you, we will be modifying this file, prerequest.ubuntu.sh. Um, I, I will show you what modification we have to make. We will be following the same same page um, where we um, the same page like the Hyperledger GitHub Composer latest installing installing pre request uh, pre requisites. So we will be following the same steps. Just copying this one and um, run the curl command. Oh my God, uh, I didn't install this scale uh, install CURL yeah that is done just run again yeah the prerequisites uh, dot um, Ubuntu that got downloaded now we have to modify this one okay um, I will show you where we have to modify in a second um, we have downloaded the script file to the um, uh, script file to the uh, home directory um, so it is here just open that one um, text editor Open, open, yeah, this one, and here there is an entry version entry. We at the lane number 27, um, we have to enter this by by bionic, okay, um, save. After making that change, we have to run that script file. So just run that one. Um, it is start downloading bunch of stuff. Um, wait for that. Okay. After after waiting around five minutes, um, my the script finished running now um, I have to log out by log out they mean just exit this uh, terminal and open a new terminal um, we would be fine um, we will we can proceed with the next um, next step in the installation process for Ubuntu the next step is to proceed to the um, Installing development environment uh, stage. Okay, um, okay. We have here. We will be installing bunch of um, npm uh, installs, um, composer composer components. Uh, we have to install. We will install one by one. Um, Okay, the first one composer CLI, second one composer REST server. Now composer CLI finished downloading, so now next download composer REST server. Um, yes, composer REST server. now composer rest server finished downloading now let's download um, generator hyperledger composer okay just uh, copy and paste okay so 
so now the download got finished uh, let's go to the next step that is uh, installation of yo just copy and paste okay it will take some time let's wait for that Okay, now your installation is finished. Let's go to the next step that is install playground. Okay, it will take some time. Now we finished the playground installation. Let's go to the next step that is install step 4 install hyperledger fabric just copy this section and paste here okay we have downloaded the zip file and unzip it and our download would have created a so the second step we will run instead of running all at once just copy one by one in the previous step we have created a folder oh that's the same folder so no need that one uh, export export to we are setting fabric version and the next step is where we have to download okay download fabric let's run that so here we will have an issue so to solve this issue we have to do su username password now if you run it will it will work without any issue it will take a little bit more time to download all this let's wait for it to complete now we finished the fabric download let's go to the next step that is controlling your dev environment starting and stopping hyperledger fabric okay so uh, these steps okay we no need to do that one uh, do this one okay uh, one second we will close this terminal and open a new one and see terminal cd fabric uh, they are asking us to set to the fabric version let's do that we did now the critical step we had to start the fabric let's see how that goes could not start the fabric this is because we have to uh, do sudo su su the username password then we have to do this step again export and we have to do uh, start uh, yeah this time um, the hypernet is uh, hyperledger is starting the order is starting ca peers peers are getting started um, so it will yeah it's almost got started all, all of them got started without any issue if you see docker ps we can see all the docker images that is running okay 
um, so we have successfully configured Bionic even though official document says it won't, it is not recommended but we found a workaround for that we could successfully configure um, try it and let the group know if you guys have any issue thank you bye